Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the race card. You know that that's a tried and true, uh, very successful means to basically blame everything and anything on anything but yourself. Like that's essentially what blaming the race card or using the race card is. And uh, we have another example of this. So we have the Lando Ryder who apparently is now playing the race card, and not only the race card, he doubled up and is now playing the gay card as well after being iced out by Lucasfilm, according to Bounding Into Comics. A new report report says he's been replaced by Donald and Stephen Glover. So this man is mad, okay? He is mad because he's been replaced, and now he's going to pull the race card and the gay card because that's the easiest thing to do other than taking accountability for yourself. So let's get into this article from Bounding Into Comics, guys. It says, Lando writer Justin Simeon played both the race and the gay card after he revealed Lucasfilm iced him out of the process on the previously announced Disney Plus series. Shortly after playing both of these cards, a new report detailed he was replaced by brothers Donald and Stephen Glover. <laughs> That's great, man. That is great. So Disney, of all people, said, oh, you're going to pull the race card and the gay card? Well, congratulations. You got replaced by two black people. Congrats, man. You really, really outdid yourself this time. It says the Lando series was previously announced by Kennedy back in 2020 during the Disney Investor Day presentation, where she said Lando Calrissian is the galaxy's smoothest, most notorious scoundrel, and he will return in a brand new event series for Disney+. Plus. She continued, Justin Simeon, the creator of the critically acclaimed and hugely popular Dear White People, is developing the story with us now. A massive Star Wars fan himself, Justin has put together a reel to give you a sense of the style tone and irresistible swagger of our upcoming series lando <laughs> why is it why is it that uh, i i don't understand I, I mean i do understand really why is it that with disney right disney marvel all these guys what they do is whenever they talk about a black show like a black oriented or black led tv show or movie when they talk about it they try to use specific words to try to interest black people you know what i'm saying like they try to say oh yeah we put together a reel that's going to give you a sense of style tone and irresistible swagger <laughs> you imagine can you imagine like the white ceos over at disney saying yeah yeah this tv show's got a lot of swagger come watch it come watch it our black little puppets come watch it you know what i'm saying it's just it's so sad man like come on kathleen kennedy using the word swagger are you serious right now but she's only doing it because this is going to be classified as a black show made for black people it says in april at star wars celebration 2023 kennedy went on to inform ign that the series was still in development she was asked donald glover recently talked about the lando series can you give us any update on that is it still happening kennedy responded it's still happening and he's very excited about it simeon then relayed to the direct that he hadn't heard word about the project since 2020 i certainly poured my heart and spent a lot of time working with them to put together a really great show it feels like everybody loves it he added and you know i was told we had to put a pause on it because of scheduling and the next update i got was in 2020 some years ago so i don't know i have no idea what's going on with it later in an interview the hollywood reporter simeon claimed that he was still attached to the series i am attached i think but i don't really know the last thing i was told was that they loved it but they needed to put a pin in it until they could figure out everybody's availability i haven't investigated further but i'm not an idiot i'm not alone in that experience Simeon, who's the director of the Walt Disney Company's Haunted Mansion film, then decided to play victim with identity politics. Here it comes. So he says, but I can't help but wonder, am I too black? Am I too queer? And people just don't want to say that because it seems like I develop things with these companies and they just never happen for reasons unknown. Well, I can say this based on this response. Am I too black? Am I too queer? I can guarantee that this person is probably miserable to work with. I can almost promise you that they are so unbelievably miserable to work with that the chances are that they are having problems in their jobs simply because of their personality. So they can try to say it's about being too black. They can try to say it's about being too queer, but I can almost guarantee it's about being too damn annoying. Like that's what this person is. This person is clearly so damn annoying that they had to pull the race card and the gay card because they're trying to do anything other than claim accountability for their actions like this is the problem in modern day america nobody wants to take accountability for anything everybody wants to blame someone else it's always somebody else's fault for your problems it says on the same day the interview with the hollywood reporter was published a report from above the line stated that donald and stephen glover would be writing the lando series that lucasfilm has been developing for disney plus that is 
great. That is great. On the day that he pulls the card, they announce it. That is fantastic. The report added that the Glover brothers replaced Haunted Mansion director Justin Simeon on the project. Furthermore, despite Simeon's claim that he believed he was still attached, the report claimed he'd been off the series since last summer. Above the line detailed, Above the Line has since learned that Simeon has actually been off the Lando series since last summer when he bowed out to continue focusing on his directing duties for the Haunted Mansion. The outlet added with Lucasfilm eager to move forward with the project, execs reached out to Donald Glover, who often writes with his brother Steven. The siblings agreed to board the project together and their take is said to have lucasfilm brass excited well it looks to me that he kept the narrative of oh yeah i'm still on the show because he knew that eventually it was going to come out that he's not on the show and the only way that he can claim victim points was to make it seem like he was being kept in the dark by disney i can guarantee you as a black man he is not going to be kept in the dark by disney they're going to utilize him as much as they possibly can so the fact is he looks like he bowed out of disney he bowed out of the show to focus on Haunted Mansion, and they decided to want to move forward, and they replaced him with Donald Glover and his brother. That's what looks like the story is. And again, there's two sides to every story, but considering that he actually had the balls to use the race card and the gay card at the same time, that tells me that that probably is the case. It tells me that he did bow out, and he was not telling the public about him bowing out, because then he wouldn't be able to use the victim card if everybody knew that he had left in the first place. So it, it smells of juice Smoulier, if you know what I mean. It says Glover previously re revealed in April that he was interested in returning to the character. I would love to play Lando again. It's a fun time to be him. It just has to be the right. It just needs to be the right way to do it. He continued, I'm all about now. His time is precious. I think everybody's like in the past couple of years, this pandemic crap like really had people experience time in a way where they were like, well, why am I? I should be around oranges. People kind of realize like their time is valuable. You only get so much. To that point, he said, so like I'm not interested in doing anything that's just going to be like a waste of my time or just a paycheck. I'd much rather spend time with people that I like enjoy. So it just has to be the right thing, which I think it could be. Lando is definitely somebody I'd like to hang out with again. He then revealed he was in discussions with Lucasfilm. So yeah, I mean, we're talking about it. That's as much as I can say, you know, without Kathleen Kennedy hunting me down. So again, it looks like this is going to be a thing. It looks like the Glover brothers are going to take over for Simeon and Simeon is completely out of Star Wars as of right now anyway and I guarantee you uh, he's probably not going to be joining Star Wars anytime soon considering he basically attacked Disney and called them racist and homophobic at the same time because they weren't giving him what he wanted even though he bowed out of it in the first place chances are he was trying to get back on the project after bowing out on it and they probably told him no and then he basically used the race card and the gate and the gay card in the public eye to uh, make Disney look bad that's how it looks like to me as much as I hate Disney Disney, uh, I could definitely see that he's trying to take advantage of it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.